All eyes now on tropical storm Florence during this very busy hurricane oh season. Oh my goodness, it has yeah. been, hasn't it? It all happened just in this last month, yeah, it know, seems. But, yeah. but we have had a very active season so far, and so we'll take a look at the numbers, and you can see we've had 10 named storms. Five of them stayed tropical storms, and five of them have become hurricanes. And that's what we've been dealing with, of course, with uh, Hurricane Florence, which has now been downgraded to tropical storm Florence. We have Isaac that we need to be paying attention to and then we have Helene and Joyce and Isaac by the way has now been downgraded as well to just a low pressure system. These two moving off towards the northeast and Florence already on shore and we do have the remnants of Isaac that we'll be talking about in just a second but right now tropical storm Florence moving towards the west very slowly at two miles per hour 45 mile per hour winds with wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour and you'll notice that it will continue to move on towards the west and by tomorrow it'll be downgraded even more to 40 mile per hour winds and it's eventually going to move on up into the Appalachians and eventually out into the Atlantic and so that's the track it's going to be taking but it's the rain it is the constant rain and it has been over 30 inches of rain in some locations across the Carolinas and then we just continue to see these rain bands moving in. Another foot of rain is expected over Wilmington over the next couple of days and we will, we're only a third of the way through all of the rainfall. We're going to be seeing more and more of this rain because this system is moving so slowly and the areas that are in gray, those are the areas where we've seen 16 inches or more of rainfall and some places have reported as much as 30 inches of rainfall. It's just been record-breaking rains that have been taking place across parts of the Carolinas. In the meantime, we've had some drier air move in on top of us and as a result we're seeing quiet conditions and right now there's nothing going on for our area. We've seen some thunderstorms to our north, thunderstorms well east and all of this wet weather is moving off towards the east because the winds are coming in out of the west pushing everything over to the east coast. So even though we've got a couple of showers out in the Gulf of Mexico, they're falling apart because of this drier air that's sitting on top of us right now. So that 20% chance of rain that we were expecting for today is pretty much over. We're not expecting to see any more rain. So now we're going to Isaac, and Isaac definitely has our attention because even though it has been sheared apart and is now a low pressure system, there is the opportunity for it to redevelop as it continues to move towards the west at around 16 miles per hour. And by Tuesday, it could be moving into the Gulf of Mexico. So we need to be paying attention, be vigilant, because even though all of the models are taking it into the center of the Gulf, away from the state of Florida, some are actually bringing it into the state of Florida. So on Tuesday, we really need to be paying attention to what may be going on with Isaac. In the meantime, because of no rain, those temperatures are staying hot, readings in the 80s and 90s, but it feels as though it's 100 degrees out there still. And for many locations around our region, it feels as though those temperatures are very close to 100 degrees. Today, we got up to a high of 90, a little bit warmer than normal. 77 was the overnight low. And if you are heading off to the beach, we're looking at those winds coming in out of the southwest tomorrow. Seas one to two feet some isolated thunderstorms possibly with only a 20% chance of rain in our forecast for tomorrow. And that same will be true on Monday with that drier air sitting on top of us. On Tuesday, we're paying attention to Isaac. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, better chances of rainfall as we get back into more of a typical summer-like season for us. Ray?